Hello, engineers. It is the week of Thanksgiving. It is a three-day week, and a three-day week is a short school week. And a short school week means a short engineering lesson. How short, you ask? This short. Today, we are stepping outside of our computer science lesson to talk about something near and dear to my heart. Parades. I do love a good parade, but living in New York City, we have the parade of all parades. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I love the floats, I love the marching bands, but most of all, I love those balloons. And sadly, this is the first year that we will not be outside there standing in the cold to watch the balloons go by. So, what does an engineer do? They solve a problem. Engineering design process. What? What was that? Engineering design process. Wait, what? Engineering design process. That's a fantastic idea. Let's try it today. If you remember, step one is to ask great questions. So my first question is, how do they choose which characters become balloons? It seems that the balloons are made based on characters from our favorite books and movies. So step two is to imagine. I want you to come up with some ideas of your favorite characters from books or movies. Think about one of your favorite scenes or chapters with that character, where your character is doing something special. Because that's going to bring us up to our next step, plan. When we plan, we're going to make a drawing. Now today, our plan can be very basic. Just get an idea of what it's going to look like. Do they have anything with them? Are they holding anything? You might want to put those in your sketch. Since our solution today is going to be a drawing, you don't need to spend too much time on your plan. Next, we're going to create. This is when we're going to make our drawing. And I want you to think about using bold colors, bold lines, something to really make your drawing pop. Well, maybe we won't use that word for balloon but I want you to think about something that will really make your drawing stand out. When you're done drawing, cut out right around your character and attach it to a stick or a pencil or a straw or anything that you can hold up to make your paper balloon move around. Of course, once we've created, we also need to test and improve. For test and improve today, we really just need to make sure that your balloon's not gonna flop over. If you need to add a second pencil or stick, or if you need to add some extra tape, now is the time to do that. Make sure that it stands up. And then our last step is to share. And you know I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Don't forget to come back to the Google Classroom, share a picture of your paper balloon, and tell me something a little bit about your character, either why you chose him or her, or what they're doing. I'm going to get started on mine right now, and I can't wait to see your paper balloons. Best parade ever.